I'm the best superhero ever, and today we're going to talk about six reasons why I'm the best ever. Hulk, what do you do? Hulk smash! Oh! We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. No actual Lego Brie Larsons, Captain Marvels, or otherwise were injured during the filming of this video. <laughs> we now return to your regular programming. Welcome back to the channel. This is a special request video from a subscriber, Keely Chow. What's up, brother? Uh, big shout out to you. Six reasons we love Captain Marvel. Find out why Carol Danvers is the hero we deserve. Is that like a personal attack or something? Or you... All right, so we're going to read through this, and I'm going to try to get through this with as much, uh, whatever. Let's just do this. So I'll, I'll, I'll give my thoughts, of course, on each reason as we go down. When Carol Danvers made her debut in the Marvel Cinematic Universe with the release of Marvel Studios Cat Pan Mediocre. I do not need a 40-year-old white dude to tell me what didn't work for him. The world was introduced to one of the most powerful heroes, her O's, it had ever seen. Come on, don't bullshit me. Bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. 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 You say so? It's all bullshit. All of it. But it's not just Cat Pan Mediocre's intergalactic powers that make her special. Thank you. Marvel fans know that behind every her o is a heart and soul, and that helps to see a little bit of themselves and inspire them to be their best. Tom Cruise, thank you very much. Here are a few things about Cadaver Danvers that we love the most. Drop the taco. Get in the car. Her power doesn't scare her. I did. I did my stunts because I thought that that's what everyone did, oh, okay. and then. This All my stunts. I did, I did my stunts. I did my stunts. Carol Danvers knows she can fight. She knows she can get where she needs to be, and she knows how to do it quickly. Hey, you get your bitch ass back in the kitchen and make me some pie. Maybe not cleanly, but definitely quickly. <laughs> Carol's power isn't about feeling superior. It's about knowing she can do the help the best of her ability. Whatever the plan, she knows she can be an effective fourth. <laughs> she knows what works for her. Okay, now the funny thing about this picture, if you really look at it here, is look at how Jack Jude Law is. Okay, his, his arm is bent at a 90, and his tricep is still like just like, bam! And then you see her little wet noodle arms that wouldn't have a bicep if she flexed. I mean, like, this is... in her her fitness regimen before this movie came out was so highly touted. Like, oh, she was pulling Jeeps and pushing Jeeps and she was bench pressing cows and she's just the best ever. And then there was those sorry-ass pull-ups they showed her doing. I mean... Is that like a personal attack or something? Male heroes, like I said, it's not, it's not bad for women to you know objectify the male superheroes but you look at a female superhero and you're like well you know she's this or she's that and it's all oh, you're a sexist clutch my pearls Ooh, he's trying. seeing cat pan's mediocre 90s symbol pager at the end of marvel studios infinity war made for a good laugh in a retro way we used to communicate hey girls are funny wendy okay get over it uh when she's right she knows when she's right and she's wrong <laughs> You know, this character would have been better if they would have said it like in the Miss Marvel, not the big hands, man hands, Kamala Khan one. She had man hands. <laughs> man hands? The hands of a man. They really should have done the Miss Marvel Carol Danvers because that book was actually not bad. I, I read a lot of that. It was actually really good. And, or you could have done the... I believe Maria Rambo from the 80s, you know, the most popular run of Captain Marvel. Could have done that one. But no, Kevin Feige, you went another way. Rob Liefeld was right when he said, oh, look at, oh, Kevin Feige, I'm a genius. I'm going to lead off with the Eternals and Shang-Chi. <laughs> She's all about duty. I hate to be juvenile, but duty. I could never fly you in a combat mission, but I flow you in test missions. That's why they call me Avenger. What are you avenging? I mean, seriously, what? Did, did you not make a sandwich or something? I don't know. Higher, further, faster, baby. Yes, <laughs> uh, even before she gained the power that made her Captain Marvel, Carol Danvers was all about her Air Force career. 
People didn't join the military unless they were service-minded, and Carol Danvers was seeking to fly with a purpose. In the beginning, her sense of duty was for her country and fellow soldiers, but once her mission and alliance shifted, that soldier mindset had remained. She's loyal. It didn't take long for Carol to come back to her best friend Maria Rambeau and her daughter Monica. It didn't take long, yeah, like 25 years or something like that, you know. And when she realized that Dr. Lawson's goal was to end the war with the Kree and the skulls had yet to be realized, she knew it was her job to finish the she knew it was her job to finish the job. Boy, that's really bad writing. <laughs> with her trusty BFF and co-pilot Maria by her side, as well as her new sidekick, Nick Fury. Okay, Nick Fury is not anybody's sidekick. Oh my god. She she cannot be contained, and she cannot be contained, and that's what makes her awesome. So stunning, so brave. Yes, Queen, slay. <laughs> Is that like a personal attack or something? The entire time Carol spent on Hala as Vers, she was told to control her emotions and control her power, all in the name of being the best version of herself. But she knew this couldn't be true. She may have been trained as a soldier and a warrior. Noble warrior heroes. She. But Carol Danvers was a woman with a past and a story. The world and back snap. <laughs> when she found out she was being deceived, she was angry. Captain Marvel, angry. <laughs> when she realized she was wrong, she did what she could to make things right. Drop the taco, get in the car. And when she realized she was fighting with one hand tied behind her back, she let herself be unleashed and save the world. Carol Danvers is a prime example of what happens when you accept every part of you, embrace it, and let it help you soar. Tom Cruise, thank you very much. She may be one of the most powerful heroes in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but Captain Marvel will prove over and over again what it means to be good. That's a shame. <laughs> what do you guys think? Is those six reasons why you love Captain Marvel? I like Miss Marvel. You know, not, like I said, not man hands, you know. Well, then at least drink your beer. <laughs> oh, the Carol Danvers Miss Marvel, but, you know, they went another way with it. The, the way that is unpopular in both the comic books and the movie. That's why her movie is the lowest rated movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Ah! <laughs> but hey, what do I know, right? I'm just some guy with a computer and a webcam. Just a... Just a $60 webcam sitting in an office full of toys. That's all. That's all. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Keely Chow, that one was for you. I will catch you guys later. Here Here's where you can find us all across social media. At TV2BR on Instagram. The Place to Be Reviews page on Facebook. The official Place to Be Reviews fan page. That's our private group. At The Place to Be RE1. At N80 Pete on Twitter. Past podcast available on Anchor itunes and spotify and now the place to be reviews on discord you can also email us if you're old-fashioned okay boomer at the place to be reviews at mail.com the world's best mail thank you very much also on the way out don't forget to bitch slap that like button do me that big solid would you yeah i think you can do that also, hail the Phantom Menace. Hail to thee, my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Help us grow the channel. Hail the Phantom Collective, a group which we are proud members of now. We'll be working with them on a lot of collaborations in the near future. And I'd like to personally thank you all for joining the Place to Be Reviews. That's right, I'm E. Tepakouian of the Place to Be Reviews right here with all yous. Remember, if I don't see you, have a great day and a pleasant tomorrow. <laughs>